Hey hello everyone welcome back so in today's tutorial we will see how to create an photo selector in android so as you can see on screen we are having three buttons if i click on first button uh, it displays all the images from my gallery and at the top we are having here folder selector from where we can select the uh, photos of specific folder if i click on whatsapp images it will show all my whatsapp images after that if i click on telegram it will show all my telegram images so let's select some photos from here Whenever I select, I get the count of my images which I had selected and I had given it limit of 9 images so it selects maximum of 9 images. Uh, you can change this as per uh, your wish. After that at the bottom we are having two buttons preview and apply. If I click on preview, all the selected images I can see here in this way and if I click on back and if I click on apply, uh, I come back to main screen where in the circular view I get all the selected images with the path and URL. After that I am having a second button, if I click on second button the same photo selector will appear with the dark theme or you can call it as an Dracula theme and from here also I can select the image uh, and uh, here I am uh, displaying images as well as videos as you can see this is 40 second video and this is 14 second video so I am showing here images as well as videos and instead of count I am uh, ticking here tick mark sign and we are having here a preview option from where you can see all the selected videos and images and if i click on apply i can see all selected images here in this circular view and we are having third button on click of which it will display all the gif files available uh, in your gallery but currently i am not having any gif in my gallery so it is showing me empty so this type of selector we are going to create in our today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial uh, let's without wasting much time let's start our tutorial So head back to Android Studio and in order to create this type of photo selector, uh, we need to use some third party libraries. So uh, just go to Chrome and search for Mitisse which is created by Zehu. And uh, as you can see here, this is the photo selector library which I'm going to use. And uh, if you go at the bottom here, you can get the JCenter uh, di uh, repository which you need to add into your build.gradle file. After that, you will get the dependency which you need to add in your build file. After that, uh, we need to add two permissions to our manifest file that is read external storage and write external storage which will allow us to uh, uh, to read the uh, files, images and videos from our gallery. Once you have did this, then we, your project will be ready uh, to uh, build this such type of photo selector. Just go to your main file and here uh, I'm, I had already did all the code. This is basically the sample project which you will get uh, here from this repository. So this is the sample project where you will get all the code just download this repository and you will get the working code so i'll explain you how this code works right once you had uh, uh, once you had built the uh, project with and uh, this library just go to your main file and here i had here uh, i had created three buttons that is first one is for day theme uh, photo selector second is for night theme uh, photo selector and third one is to show only the gif files from the uh, gallery and at the bottom here I am I had created a recycler view in which I show all the selected images right here. So just go to your main file and here uh, you are having three buttons. On click of any of this button I am calling an uh, start action method but uh, before that I am checking if the permission has been granted or not. If the permission has been granted uh, to access the gallery uh, and images and videos uh, if it is true then uh, it calls the method as start action and what start action does is here i am in switch case in which i am performing operation on each button of click right so if i click on the zehu button which is id of my first button that is day theme if i click that button at that time it will launch this my library metis library right so Matisse library from and I had passed here the context of my current file. After that I had uh, set some properties to this. So first properties choose uh, which type of files you need to uh, make available to your photo selector. So I made it uh, of image. So only images will be available in my photo selector if I click on first button. After that countable whether you want to show the count uh, to this or not. Count means uh, this type of count whenever you select uh, is 1, 2. This type of count you want to show it or not, so I had passed it as true, so it will show that. After that capture, uh, whether you want to show preview or not. After that capture strategy, uh, here you can keep it as it is. Uh, max selectable, how many uh, max selectable uh, max images you can select, that limit you can set it here. 
so I had set it as nine, so I can't select more than nine images. So uh, you can make it uh, set it as per your wish. After that, you had sent your add filter. So this what this uh, does is uh, it will uh, you can hear from here you can set the size thick size of your preview image. So I had given it here, here as 320 by 320. After that, uh, I want to I'm showing all my images in grid format here, right? So instead of that, you can uh, show it in any uh, format. So I'm here grid format. After that, uh, what is the orientation of your images? It is portrait images. Uh, thumbnail size, you can set here from thumbnail size, uh, right? So image engine, which image engine you need to use to display the image. So I'm using here glide. After that, on select of any of the image, what operation you need to perform it or not. So I'm not doing here at uh, this moment anything, but you can customize it as per your wish. Uh, so after that, uh, there are many more methods which you can uh, do here. One more is on check listener. Uh, on check of any of the image, what you perform or you need to uh, do, you can put that for here. So in this way, four result. And last is four, four result. Uh, what this method does is, uh, on click of apply, this method is called, which means that you had finished selecting all the images from the photo selector. Now you come you need to come back to your home page so the, this will get the list of all the images and it will come back to your home page right and once you go get back to your home page uh, you can use this method which on activity result it gets uh, on result calls this method which uh, gets all the list of all the images which you had selected right uh, and uh, once you get the list of all the images uh, I had created an adapter for my recycler view, which is known as URI adapter. URI adapter here. So what I'm doing is, uh, and uh, one more, I am having the method as state data. So whenever I get the list of data here, which means I am at the home page, right? So at that time, I add all the data into my state data method. Right? I call the state data method, and as you can see here, I'm calling state data method. Whenever uh, once I see completed selected all the images, all the uh, data will be added into my set data. Here uh, on set data, all the data has been added. And once it is ad added, I attach my recycler view with this adapter. And all the data is visible to my recycler view, right? And this is my custom layout here in which I am showing my image and URI and uh, the image path. This is my image view in which I load all the images. Then here you are and this is part of my image gallery, right? So I show it here as you can see Sorry for this As you can see if I click on apply it comes here with image and this is URI and this is my image path same for all the images Right, so uh, in this way I had attached this after that uh, on click of second button I use the same uh, library, but just I had modified some uh, of the uh, properties of it such as I choose image after the theme I change the theme as Dracula theme which makes it to visible at a dark uh, view uh, Countable is false that's the reason it is showing me tick mark here as you can see It doesn't show me count uh, it shows me tick mark Right so after that I had added the filter selectable max is 9 and original is enable true and max original and image engine here I'm using Picasso engine here I was using glide engine right and at the third, uh, the properties are same almost, but just the only thing is I had uh, displayed GIF instead of all the images here. So uh, you can also select your video so that uh, it will display only the videos from your gallery. So uh, uh, in this way, we can, uh, you know, use this library to create a beautiful photo selector without uh, doing so much uh, long code. Uh, within I think uh, uh, four to five lines of code, your photo selector will be ready here. If you don't attach the recycler view, uh, and if you use the recycler view, yes, the uh, whole code is uh, available. You can copy it from here. So in this way, let's run the project and see if it works fine or not. So as you can see, our code is up and running. Here are uh, the photo selector from where I can select the images. If I click on apply, it displays here all the images, right? So in this way you can uh, create this beautiful photo selector using this library. Hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.